Engineers had risked their lives to erect the world's highest bridge pillars but now the problem of connecting them had become their problem. During the construction of the world's highest mixed wire duct bridge in France, the engineers are now facing a big issue. Road sections were to be placed on them. The weight of one road section placed between two pillars was equal to 25 locomotive engines and there were a total of eight such sections. There was no such crane in the world that could lift a weight of 5,000 tons. If the road section is pulled by placing a crane on top of two pillars that can reach a height of 800 feet, then due to the height of the pillars, they will easily collapse inwards. The higher the pillar is the weaker its top will be. This is an issue for the construction team. It was no less than a scary dream. Due to this issue, there was a delay in the construction of Milau via duct and with every passing day, the construction company was facing a fine of $30,000. Milau via present in France. Duct is the world's highest bridge, which was built in 2004 at a cost of 394 million euros. Standing at a height of 1125 feet from the ground, it is a wonder of the world of engineering. This bridge is 45 feet higher than the Eiffel Tower. It is at this height that it is often seen floating on the clouds. The engineering company that had shown the courage to build this bridge was actually stuck with this project. Landslides in these valleys of France and the stormy winds at 130 km hour made their work almost impossible. Such a high four-lane highway had never been built before, nor has anyone dared to do so, because everyone knows that the Milau viaduct had not only crossed the limits of engineering but had also disturbed it. On the other hand, building this bridge had become a compulsion for the French government. In 1980, the French government was very worried about the tourists going from France to Spain, especially during the holiday season, this traffic used to pass through many cities and jammed the roads of every city. Especially the city of Milau was located in the middle of the mountains at a depth of 1500 feet. The traffic coming from northern France had to first go down the zigzag road and then climb up again. It would have taken hours and on top of that, it would have taken at least six hours to go to Milau city due to traffic jams. Therefore, to facilitate the tourists, the French government decided to build a motorway from Paris to Spain. It could have been built absolutely straight but there was a dead end at Milau. There was a 1500 feet high mountain and the Tun River passing through it. The only way to bypass this complicated condition was to build a bridge almost as high as the mountain, but so to speak. It was easy but almost impossible to do because in 1980, when this plan was being made, the world's tallest bridge was the Golden Gate Bridge of California. Firstly, it was a suspension bridge and secondly, the height of the road from the water surface was only 250 feet, that is. Seeing that it is six times lower than the mountains of Milau, many experts said that a bridge cannot be built on Milau and even if such a high bridge is built, it will be like inviting a huge accident. This dream of building a bridge has been dreaming for many years. It remained only a dream, but when the traffic jams increased beyond limits, the French government had no other option but to take this bitter sip. From the design to the construction of the bridge, the engineering team had to face three difficult challenges. First world erection of the highest bridge pillars on the slope of the mountains, secondly placing a four-lane highway weighing 36,000 tons on top of it and thirdly erecting steel pylons on top of the bridge, each steel pylon weighs twice as much as an Airbus A380 and above all this all the tasks had to be done 100 feet above the ground. For this work, the world's best architect Lord Norman Fuster was hired. He had already made a name for himself in the world in designing bridges. His job was to design a bridge whose the delicacy may be like that of a butterfly, but this butterfly can bear the weight of thousands of tons even in strong winds. Even a small mistake in this design can become the bias of some disaster. After two years, Lord Norman Fester's design was still on the drawing board when his reputation was ruined. He got a big shock. A few years ago, he had also designed the famous Millennium Footbridge of London. In the year 2000, when this bridge was opened for public, due to the walking of humans only, this bridge started swinging badly due to its design. There was a huge but hidden defect. The bridge had to be closed again for one and a half years, the repair of which would have cost an additional five million pounds. If a similar design flow had come out in the Milau wire duct 15 times higher than the Millennium Bridge, then the devastation could have been imagined. It would be difficult. After years of hard work, Fuster had presented a brilliant design. 
A total of seven pillars of the bridge were designed and the road above it would be in curve shape, but the issue was that the height of pillar number two would be the largest while the remaining six pillars would be sloped. But the issue would not only arise in converting this unique design from paper to reality. The construction team that had dared to build this bridge was given a deadline of only four years. After the deadline, the fine for each day was fixed at $30,000, the construction of Milau wire duct started in October 2001. This bridge was being built for 120 years. The construction started with laying the foundation of pillars but as soon as it got up, a bad news came from the geologists. When they arrived, they informed that there is fractured limestone beneath this area, due to which there are many empty spaces between the stones. Caves have been formed in these cavities where a unique variety of bacteria lives. This bacteria called blue mold is the world's most famous rock ford thing. They are used for construction purposes but the thing which is most perfect for them is not for making the foundation of the world's highest bridge. Geologists here express the danger of landslides during drilling and excavation. Despite all these warnings, the work of laying the foundation continues. It was started but then what was feared happened. A dramatic twist took place in the construction of Milau wire duct. A dangerous landslide. This landslide covered the foundation of the first pillar with stones but fortunately there was no damage. The construction team descended the slope, stabilized it with cement and continued the project. To make seven big pillars of the bridge, concrete weighing about 2,000 tons was required, for which a factory was built on the site itself. This was reinforced concrete in which 16,000 tons of steel bars were to be used. If the rebar used in Milau Vio duct is laid straight, it can cover a distance of 4,000 kilometers, i.e. from Dubai to China. The architect's design had caught on with the construction team. At this point, they thought whether they should do this project. There was no mistake, the issue was that the shape of the pillars was not uniform i.e. they were not the same, thick at the bottom and thin at the top. Only pillars of 4-meter section were made at a time. A die was made from a heavy steel frame and then concrete was poured inside and then the die was lowered in the next 4 meters and then the die of another shape was raised. A lot of time was being spent in repeatedly loading and unloading this die weighing 15,000 tons. This race was against time. Pillars actually, it took 6 months more than the time given for casting, but this was not the only issue facing the engineering team. If the location of each pillar is not at the pinpoint, then the road section placed over it will never be straight. If the bottom of the pillar is made out of place even by 10 centimeters, it will create a difference of 6 meters at the top. GPS technology has been used for this pinpoint accuracy. The pinpoint accuracy of the pillars is known with the help of multiple satellites present in the sky. The foundation was laid there and GPS was used during the casting of the pillars so that the top of the pillars was exactly where it should be. Days passed, Months passed and then in November 2003, the seven pillars had reached their final height of 245 meters tall. Pillar number two had become the tallest pillar in the world but after this success, they did not get time to relax because the next phase of bridge construction was the most difficult. Laying a two and a half kilometer long road section at such a height was no joke for this entire road section. The estimated weight was 36,000 tons, this weight is equal to 90 air buses at 380. Even a small mistake during this process can cause loss of human life and millions of dollars. Let us tell you that 34 workers lost their lives on the Brooklyn Bridge in New York and in 1970-35 workers lost their lives on the Westgate Bridge in Australia in 2007. Keeping these historical losses in mind, it was decided to build the Millau viaduct in portions of road steel. For this work, Affle Steel Works, 100 kilometers away, was used. Help was taken. At that time, Wahid was the only company which had the capability to make such large sections of steel. 2200 steel. Dev Kamat sections were made for the road and the two of different designs. Each section weighed 90 tons and these it was made with such accuracy. That there could not be even a hair's breadth of difference. The work of cutting and welding was already difficult but now the challenge was to take them to the construction site several 100 kilometers away. Routes were planned, police were taken on board and in convoys. Road sections were sent one by one. A total of more than 2,000 convoys were used to transport all these steel sections to the safely constructed construction site. 
The plan was that after welding all these steel sections, they would be slid on the pillars and pushed forward as shown. It is normal in the construction of a bridge but the wire duct found was not normal in any way. There is a distance of 342 meters between the pillars which are about 250 meters high. If a section weighing 5 tons was made to slide then by the time it would reach from one pillar to the other due to lack of support in the middle, the entire section can fall down. Even if it does not fall down, by sliding the road sections on such high pillars, the pillars will keep falling one by one. This issue was on the neck of the construction team. If this type of bridge soft cursor is pushed, then the table will not make any difference. Taking the help of this law of physics, it was decided to install a system on the pillars of Milau wire duct which will lift the road section and move it forward. Push this will prevent the force exerted by the mountain on the direct pillars. For this purpose, temporary steel structures were also erected at a distance of 170 meters between the pillars, which will bear half the weight of the road section. This new system is a kind of the future of the world's highest bridge was hanging on only one prototype. The day of the 26th of February 2003 was very important for the construction team. On this day, their years of hard work came to fruition. In a single day, what was to be tested was the strength of the pillars and the road section and the hydraulic ramp system installed on the pillars. All the ramps of this new system had to simultaneously lift the road section at the same speed and push it forward if there was even a slight difference in their synchronization. If it were to go, all the weight would fall on one pillar and it could cause the entire bridge to collapse. Luckily, the hydraulic ramp system worked and it took only two days to reach the 200 meter road section up to pillar number one. All this work was done keeping in mind the weather. This was done by selecting only those three days in which there was no chance of strong winds. The reason for this is simple, strong winds can easily collapse the bridge, especially when one side of the road section is hanging in the air without support. In 1940, the pillars of the Toma Narrows suspension bridge in Washington state were blocking the wind and as a result the entire bridge began to swing badly. A few days after its launch, the entire bridge collapsed and fell into the water. As days passed, the pillars on the road section the work of laying it on top of the river was going on in full swing by 2004. By 2004, road sections had been laid from both the sides. Now only the part above the river was left. If this last section is not laid properly then all the hard work would be multiplied by zero. There is also a road curve in the section, hence it is very important to sit at its pinpoint. The whole of France was watching this moment on live broadcast while the French Prime Minister himself was present on the spot. The button of the hydraulic ramp was pressed for the last time in four years. For the first time, the roads of north and south section had joined together and the two after connecting the road with accuracy of 99.9. .9. For extra support, 90 meter high steel pylon had to be installed. One pylon weighed 700 tons and there were seven such pylons of this height but installation of such a heavy pylon was being attempted for the first time in the world. The total weight of only the road of Milau wire duct is 40,000 tons. After this, a dambar road was laid over it, which by adding 10,000 tons made the total weight of the road 50,000 tons. For an estimate, let us tell you that this weight is equal to the weight of 1200 battle tanks or as much as a big cruise ship. To check its strength, 28 trucks were passed over it simultaneously. The surprising thing was that the road section which was 50 it was designed to swing up to a centimeter, which was only 25 centimeters compared to the weight of all these trucks. On December 16, 2004, the Milau viaduct was opened to the public for the first time. This was the result of the hard work of the engineering team day and night, who not only successfully constructed the world's tallest bridge but also created a new record by completing the work before time. I hope you all will like and share this video. Thank you very much for your loving comments.